What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, it is so not funny, but it's funny. <sighs> so, if you watch my video uh, that got went live on Friday um, about me buying one of the pens that I've had on my top five greatest of all time want to buy pen list for like years and years. Um, I mentioned how uh, I'm back to making videos because Parker's been doing much better. Um, we're in a new location, obviously. I moved, uh, homeowner now and all that kind of stuff and whatever, whatever, blah, 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 blah. She was doing better and um, well, now maybe not so much. Oh man, every time one step forward, two steps back, she might have a UTI now, who knows. Um, I use uh, Pretty Litter, which is a litter that um, changes color based on the pH level of feline urine, um, and it changed color. It changed to be like a bluey green color, which basically means that it's very alkaline. Um, so long story short, she may have a pH uh, issue, she may have a UTI, who knows? I called the vet's office like I do because they're just on speed dial for me these days. Uh, gonna watch it for the weekend. Um, it is possible that she does not have an actual UTI um, because apparently when cats are very, very stressed out, which hello, she has been, and also potentially has changed in a diet, uh, which in this case there also has been, there's been a rapid increase in treats, uh, both the crunchy kind and like the puree stuff that goes on her wet food to try and get her to drink more water, have a little bit more moisture in her diet. Um, that could have changed it too. So long story short, I'm watching it for the weekend again and we'll go from there. But anyways, um, she's napping right now, so I'm not gonna let that stop me from continuing making videos because I promised I would, hence spending the first two and a half minutes just rambling about Parker. So yeah. Um, also, spoiler for this video, um, I filmed the writing portion of this video like two and a half months ago <laughs> because it was never my intent to take as long of a break as I did. Um, so right now the pen is not inked up because you can see it's empty, <laughs> but I still wanted to talk about it. I still wanted to do a review of it because spoiler for the writing section, I really, really like it. Um, also huge ginormo thank you to Emmy from Pen Venture, not only for sending this to me, but for also being so patient and waiting literal months for me to do the review because life just ultra lifed right now. So there's that. But anywho's, <laughs> we're going to be talking about the most pocket of pocket pens that I have ever used in my entire life from Gravitas. I love that name, by the way. Um, I will say when I first opened this box, I got very confused, like super confused, um, because when I opened the box, I didn't see a pen. I saw a keychain. <laughs> This is literally what I got uh, in the box. And that's all I saw. And I was like, okay, but it is so cool. And you will also get this. Um, so it has a little Gravitas pens, if I can hold it up right. And of course it's upside down for you guys. Uh, what about this? Nope, still backwards. Gotta love the way that it films. Um, Gravitas pens. Come on, don't focus on my face. Focus on, there you go. A little lanyard, that's very, very cool. And then also, Gravitas pens. And then like this, sorry, this is actually where the pen was because this pen fits in this little tube, which is super cool. And then you also have this little Gravitas logo here which is also very cool because it's a little squeaky because it's metal on metal but if you open it up 
it has some spare cartridges in it, which I think is super, super neat. This is very squeaky. Uh, maybe a little silicone grease on there. This is the ultimate travel pen, like way more so than any other travel pen system. <laughs> this is very cool. You could throw it in the backpack. You could keep it in your pocket. You could like throw it on your like outside of a bag. You could put it on your wrist. You could do whatever you want with it. Super dope. And I love that it comes with it. Uh, so opening the pen itself which like I said, is the smallest pen I have ever used before. <laughs> um, and I will be totally honest. When I first saw this, I had next to zero expectations. Um, I don't love the look of it personally, but spoiler, it writes phenomenally well. Really, really well. <laughs> um, and when I was looking at it, I was like, eh. I don't know. It kind of like the the yellowy color kind of looks like like something that would have been clear plastic, but then it has aged and yellowed over time. Not my jam, but honestly, it's worth it for the portability and the way that it writes. So you unscrew it, and then in order to use it, you have to post it uh, because otherwise, it's just not doable. I mean, if you're literally writing one tiny word, you can, but like, geez. But also guys, it has a number six size nib, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So much like a lot of other pocket pens these days, you can screw it on the back and then it becomes a full writing utensil. Uh, and I really like the way that it feels in my hand. It's super light. There's virtually no weight to it whatsoever, but the little bit of weight that's there is at the nib. So it does um, weigh it down towards the nib a little bit, which is actually perfect um, because then you use less pressure when you're writing. Uh, it stays on the page itself uh, and there's nothing worse than a back weighted pen. Uh, so very, very nice. The, if I get out of the way here, maybe it'll focus on the pen. There is the, there you go. There's the Gravitas logo at the top. Otherwise, it's virtually all completely unadorned. The grip section, come on camera, you can focus. Don't focus on my hand. All right, let's try this again. <sighs> We're learning the new camera tricks here, people. Come on. Nope. All right, well, sort of. You can hear it. It is ribbed. <laughs> Make any joke out of that if you want. It is ribbed, um, like the Twisby Eco T, uh, and then it does have a number six size nib, which just has their logo on it. It's pretty unadorned. And I have the fine nib variant with a plastic feed. Um, it blows my mind that a pen this small will have a number six size nib because most don't. Um, obviously the one that like most people will think of, or at least I can't say obviously, the one I most compare it to is the Caveco Sport. If you would like me in the future to do a review directly comparing the Sport and this, let me know. Um, I'm about to sneeze because the Sport is pretty darn close to the same size. Um, obviously the other nib is way smaller. So when posted, they're basically the same. I mean, the Caveco Sport is ever so slightly taller as far as the body goes, but the nib on the Gravitas makes it slightly, slightly longer. Otherwise, they're pretty similar pens side by side. So long story short, do I recommend this pen? Yes, yes I do. Uh, I recommend it quite a bit, actually, um, because it's honestly writes really well, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, it is phenomenal as far as the portability. My voice is cracking now because I just sneezed about a hundred times that I cut out for you. <clears throat> so <laughs> unless you want to see these, well, I, I said a hundred, I literally, literally sneezed seven times. Uh, so sorry about the voice. <laughs> um, I can't vacuum the way that I would normally. I usually vacuum every few days, but now I haven't vacuumed in two weeks because it scares the living bejesus out of Parker and I don't want to add extra stress to her life right now. Uh, and I am mildly allergic to cats. So, you know, 
this is just my life now. Um, but yes, <laughs> I digress. The accessories that you get make this probably one of the most portable pens of all time. If you travel a lot, even if you're just going to work, um, it's really, really handy. You can bring along extra ink. Um, you can eyedropper convert this pen. It does um, come with a little o-ring here you can throw on some silicone grease it's got another o-ring on the inside of the body here it's very nice otherwise uh just a standard international short converter will do the trick because uh, that's what i've been using this entire time although i realize now i have a crack in it so maybe i should replace that one um <laughs> and then it will hold a ton a ton of ink um so yes very very much recommend it um quick disclaimer for the writing sample uh, like I did mention I filmed that many many months ago I want to say two and a half months ago roughly um, so it's slightly different uh, vibe than this one I've done my best <laughs> um, but I stand by everything that I said so big thank you again before we jump into the writing sample uh, Emmy from Pen Venture <sighs> Thank you so much for being patient with me. I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Check the link in the description for um, the link to my Patreon, the link to Emmy's um, website. Definitely go check that out if you can, or even if you're just slightly interested, he does ship pretty much worldwide, I think. Um, and then anyways, let's just, let's just get into the writing sample and you can go hang out with Past Carrie. Okie dokie. So once again, we have the Gravitas Fine Nib Fountain Pen. Although, to be fair, this is more like a medium. Uh, and then you have what I think is a number six size nib, even though that says a number eight on the plastic feed. Who knows? Um, and then the grip section, you can see the little ribs here, very much like the um, Twisby Diamond 580 All ALR. Uh, and the Gravitas pocket pen that I talked about earlier today. Uh, but for you, it would have been several days ago. <laughs> but for me, I'm filming them on the same day. Uh, the ink for today is KWZ uh, Smells Like Coffee. And I figured the reason why I'm doing them on the same day is because I am almost out of ink in this little cartridge here. And I don't have any more. I think I have a tiny bit more, but not even enough for like another cartridge. So I was like, let's film it before I run out of ink. Cause then I'd have to clean it out, re-ink it up and you know, you get it, you're fountain pen people. <laughs> uh, so I call this a medium nib because it is relatively broad for a fine. Um, I would say it may be a fine medium if you're used to German nibs cause German nibs typically are a little bit broader. Um, but for example, like this writing up here came from the uh, red pocket pen from Gravitas that is more like an extra fine and then flexes to a broad. Uh, so like if you go from like what you know looks like an extra fine to the fine that's a pretty big jump uh, but that said it is super duper smooth nice and wet uh, you can get a little bit of line variation but not a ton and that's really not what it's for uh, if you want some line variation go with the flex nib on the other pen uh, because it's dynamite um, but so honestly so is this one like I said it's nice and wet it's super smooth uh, this is Tomoe River paper but I've written on Colorverse paper I've written on the Endless Note paper I've written on the Claire Fontaine like I've written on a whole bunch um, and it's really really great no no hard starts no skips no nothing I've had this inked up pretty much just as long as my other one uh, which was before Christmas so I've been writing with it now for pushing two months um, just refilling the cartridge and it is awesome. Uh, as far as reverse writing goes, it does feel a little bit scratchy, um, but then you get to that extra fine. So you can definitely squeeze out a little bit if you need to, but don't do it like, you know, for ever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely no performance issues with this pen whatsoever. Uh, while aesthetically it is not my favorite fountain pen, it does write really, really well. Uh, it squeaks a little, but you can fix that with a tiny bit of silicone grease. 
um, and it is the smallest pen that I own now, um, <laughs> which is saying something because I do have a fair amount of small pens. But I think this whole system is just the cutest thing ever. Um, you know, you can have this on your keychain, you can throw it in your car, you can put it in your backpack, you can do whatever, and that pen is going to be nice, safe, and sound. And then you've got a little thing for your cartridges, which is just flippin' adorable. Uh, and I th think that is a very cool thing for Gravitas to have thought about when designing a pocket pen. So while it may not go in your pocket, it is certainly the most, what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm like travelable, um, <laughs> uh, most convenient, I'll say that most convenient uh, fountain pen to take on the road with you. Um, while it's not good if you're just writing literally one sentence and calling it a day, but if you need to write a few or, or whatever, this is definitely convenient. Uh, and the fact that you can eyedrop or convert it should you choose to instead of using um, a international standard international short uh, cartridge, um, then that gives you some more ink capacity, which means you can go even longer. Um, so do I recommend this fountain pen? Yes, I do. Uh, you have to post it, obviously, otherwise it's like the teeniest, tiniest little capsule of a pen. <laughs> um, but that's what it's meant to do. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. I, I really like it. Like I said, the, the visual aesthetics, um, not really my favorite of the pens, but it honestly writes so stinking well uh, that I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. And this is super convenient. Um, I'm about to, you know, need to, to walk wherever I go because I'm going to not have a car anymore. So I will be taking a backpack with me everywhere I go. And I feel more than comfortable throwing this into my backpack and calling it a day. So I very much like this pen a lot actually far more than I anticipated because I will be honest with you guys like always when I first opened this pen up first of all I was confused for a minute by this because this came inside inside here um, but when I did and I looked at the pen my first impression honestly was very negative I would I did not think highly of this pen because like I said it does not look visually appealing and I just assumed that it would not write well but man, oh man, was I very pleasantly surprised. So let me know in the comment section down below, have you guys used any Gravitas pens before? If you have, let me know so I have an idea of what other people think other than myself, uh, because nobody wants to be totally self-centered, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know. Definitely check it out if you are interested. Thank you, Emmy from PenVenture, once again, for sending this to me for the purposes of review. Um, if you check out the description in the, um, like just below the video here, you'll find links to my Instagram, Emmy's Instagram, Emmy's website, and my Patreon account. If you'd like to help support me on other platforms, that would be cool. If not, no worries. As always, I'll see you guys every Monday and Friday and the occasional Tuesday. Peace.